I don't see any holes. Can rats fit into like especially small places? <laughs> Maybe I'm just gonna. Somebody's pranking me. This rat is making me go crazy! <sighs> Last time we tried to catch the rat and we failed miserably. If you guys didn't see the last episode, I went inside the hell hole. Hell on earth. I went inside the crawl space where a rat that is infested in my house and will not leave lives. That was a great alliteration. I went in there overnight and planted 40 guys. Not 39, not 38, not 72, 40 rat traps and not a single one caught the damn rat. Today we're going to the next level, okay? I did research. I found what rat trap is the best rat trap and works the most. I'm gonna have to custom DIY build this rat trap myself. But I'm gonna do whatever I have to do to catch this motherfuck, catch this little guy in my bathroom, in my bedroom, in my crawl space. This guy is everywhere, and he is not leaving until I catch him and set him free. I'm gonna be building a crazy rat trap, hoping that I can catch this guy, take him in my car, drive him about 40 miles in the opposite direction of my house, and set him free. We're gonna go humane. We're not gonna kill him because who does he think? Like, this is my house. Well, this is my mom's house that she lets me live in for free. <laughs> Thanks, mom. It's, don't kick me out. I'm sorry. I gotta go get some supplies like last time. We're gonna be camping out in the crawl space to catch this little... Just thinking about his little rat tail running around my house, pooping all over everything. Like, oh! Before we go get the supplies to build the ultimate rat trap, I left a bunch of rat traps inside the crawl space from last time we did this with the bait on them and everything. If you guys watched the last one, you know this rat is a ninja! This rat is a ninja! He's like the guy from Teenage Mutant Ninja- Slicer? What's, what's his name? Hey Siri, what's the rat's name from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? My web search turns something up for what- SPLINTER! We got Splinter hanging out in my freaking crawl space. The Japanese freaking ninja mutated rat! Who knows how to steal goldfish off of rat trap- Just like boom! Let's go see if any of the rat traps I left in there went off, got the bait stolen, or maybe- Maybe we caught the rat without even knowing and this video can be over right now! hope so. All right. Hey, what's up, Tyler? How you doing, Tyler the Ty- <laughs> All right, Mr. Rat. If you're in there right now, I'm, I come in peace. All I want to do is chop your head off. This was my home last time for the entire freaking night. <sighs> okay. Those of you who watched the last episode, you guys know what happened down here. It was not pretty. Lots of- oh, Okay. <laughs> The rat traps that I left are over here in the massive poopy area that you guys got to see last time. I haven't checked this since the last video, let's go and look. The goldfish was taken off of those last time, those traps are still there. There's two traps over here, one without a goldfish, the trap is still set. One goldfish was stolen right there, this one still has the goldfish- oh shh. Oh my- Is that fresh poop? That's fresh rat poop! <laughs> Just get over- Ah! One goldfish remains, but the rest are gone. All right, you little piece of frickin' rat. If you can hear me, just know that I will catch you! The D-Squad's gonna catch you, and when we do, we're gonna look you in your dirty little rat eyes. And just ask you to please nicely leave my house and never come back, because I just don't want to deal with things. So let's get out of it. Ow! All right. Whew. <laughs> um. What are... What are you... What are you what are you? We're not playing games this time, guys. We are building humane rat traps that will not only catch the rat, but it'll give us an opportunity to take him away to a far off distance where rats can live happily without going into my house and pooping everywhere. We got a lot of stuff to get, a lot of building to do, a lot of setting up to do. This is gonna be a good video. If you guys are ready, be sure to kick that like button down below to give me some good luck so that we can catch this rat. And also, if you're new to the channel and you wanna see more of these rat adventures, be sure to subscribe and turn post notifications on so every time I post a video, you can be here and you can be ready to see when I catch this little piece. I just wanna be, I, ah! Let's go get the stuff! Any rat hunting journey begins with a sandwich. <laughs> what the f*** am I talking about? <laughs> and I always say the best things in life are the simplest things. So, on my sandwich, I put... Turkey. Mustard. Cheese. 
And you got your freaking simple, nice sandwich. I, what do you guys put on your sandwich? Put it in the comment section down below. Or, or don't, I mean. In order for me to make this custom mouse trap, I need to get a few things. First thing we need to get are big square water bottles. We can't use circular water bottles for this. We have to use square ones. So unfortunately, the only square water bottle I could find was goddamn Fiji water. And that costs a lot of money. I have three bottles. What do I do with all the water? Drink it? I'm not that thirsty. Well, I'm pretty thirsty when it comes to... I'm just gonna shut up. Next thing we need is paper clips. So I went to the store and I looked around and the only thing I could find for paper clips was a box of a hundred. So um, I only need four. So I'm gonna have 96 leftover paper clips. So if you guys want to win of uh, your very own paper clip, I'm gonna be giving away 96 paper clips in this video. Just leave a comment down below saying, hey Derek, give me that paper clip, baby doll girl face. And I'll be <laughs> we also need rubber bands for this to work and at the store the only thing that for some reason they didn't have just a box of a couple They had a rubber. This is all they had for a rubber band was a fucking ball of rubber bands like, What the hell who needs this who needs this? What am I supposed to why so last time for bait? I used goldfish, but apparently peanut butter is something that works very very well But for this specific trap the thing you have to use is peanuts So we got ourselves some peanuts also mandatory for every single day We got to go and get some coffee from Starbucks because honestly guys do not even talk to me if I haven't had my I fucking hate people who say that Did they spell my oh, they freaking spelled my name wrong They forgot the word daddy before it. We also need string, but I have that at home So no worries about buying that the last thing we need for this trap are wooden chopsticks now There's no place where you can go and just buy chopsticks So I thought the smartest thing for me to do was to go and buy sushi and just ask for a bunch of chopsticks So that's what I went and got sushi. So we have sushi here and with that, I asked for five pairs of chopsticks. Now, when I asked for this, the lady looked at me like I was fucking insane, but it worked. Mm. Kind of tempted now to just sit in my car and eat this sushi, even though it's like 90,000 degrees in here. Not gonna lie to you guys right now, my ass is sweating a little bit. Just thought you should know. I'm so excited to catch this rat and move on with my life because honestly, I think about this way too much, okay? I think about this dumb mouse, this dumb rat, crawling around my house way too- like at night? I will literally wake up in the middle of the night like I gotta catch this rat! That's everything we need to build this thing so let's go home and actually build it! Alright, we are now here- I really don't want to talk with my- I feel like I'm gonna go start going like Hey, so we're here now in my bed. I got all the stuff to make the mouse trap. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it right now. But first, shout outs to the imaginative guy who is the YouTuber who originally did this. I will leave a link to his video in the description down below. All right, so first thing you're gonna know, this is gonna be so weird. First thing you're gonna need, of course, First thing you're gonna need is a water bottle with four sides. Something like this would not work. You need something with four sides. Even if it means spending a million dollars on a bottle of water. This video is not sponsored by Fiji, so they can freaking suck my small pe- We don't need the nutrition facts either. Nope, I don't think the freaking mouse that we're catching is gonna care about how many calories was in this bottle of water. And we're not trying to drown the mouse, so we need to take out the water as well. Once you have drank the water and totally not poured it out halfway and just made a lot of different cuts to make it look like you were drinking Get yourself a knife. You're gonna want to cut three sides of the bottle leaving one so that you can flap it open and close it as well So you have your bottle and you've cut three sides so that now you have a little flap The next thing we got here are our chopsticks. So you're gonna want to take those apart if they come together I don't know what kind of chopsticks you get for where you're from but my the, okay And you're gonna want to put the first chopstick around the middle of the side with the cap on it So you find the cut you go over to about the middle and You're gonna want to stick it right through there and out the other side if you have a lower quality bottle You could probably get away with just using a screwdriver like this It'll probably go through pretty easy because these Fiji bottles are so strong it just sounds like a spawn Sponsorship for don't buy Fiji water, okay? These bottles are really strong, so I'm gonna need a little bit of help from this knife. Take your chopstick, stick that through, and you have it like that. You wanna take your ridiculously stupid and unnecessary rubber band ball. Oh, wow, that bounces really nicely. Get two rubber bands, preferably the same color. You take your rubber band and see how far it is until it's fully stretched. You don't wanna stretch it out like that, just until it's right about to be tense. And that's where you're gonna wanna put the other chopstick. So take it, make it like, I'd say like right about there. And you do the exact same thing you did for the other chopstick. Take your other chopstick, 
Stick that through, and there you go. Now you have two chopsticks through your bottle. Take your rubber bands and connect them between the two chopsticks, just like that on both sides. Now you have this, and when you open it, it kind of tenses up, and if you let go, it shuts. You can leave the excess out here, or if you want, you can just cut that part off to make it look a little bit nicer. All right, you know the 100 paper clips I bought and I was like, I'm only gonna need to use four. They're actually too small, so I literally don't need to use any of them. So now it's a 100 paper clip giveaway. Leave a comment down below saying, give me that paper clip, baby, in my face, yeah. If you want a paper clip. I had a couple laying around my house that were a little bit bigger. So, you take your paper clip, you take your bait, take this side here and bend it over. Just like that. Take your little peanut or your big peanut. I'm not judging the size of your peanut, don't worry. This is probably the hardest part. You're gonna wanna stick the peanut in this little hole here. And then the whole point is to wrap the paper clip around it so that it stays snug. It's hard for me to show you guys, but this is what you want. You wanna wrap the paper clip around the peanut so that the peanut is snug in there and it's not easy to get out, just like that. Next step, you're gonna need some string. Take your string and tie it to the lid of the bottle. You're gonna wanna make a little hole right in the back right here, right next to the little booty hole of the water bottle right above it right up here make a little hole just like that you're gonna want to open up the lid to your trap and see how much string you need to get from the lid to that hole just about there right at this point right here I'm gonna want to tie a little loop and there we have our little loop so what you do is you open it up and you're gonna want to stick your little peanut paper clip through this hole at the back. So just like that right there with a little bit of the paper clip sticking out of the back. You wanna take your little loop and put it right underneath and loop it around the paper clip. So when you let go, the paper clip will hold the lid open. And that is how you make the mouse trap. This is what the completed trap looks like and I'll quickly show you guys how it works. We're gonna use this little toy mouse here to represent our little rat friend that's living in my house. Mr. Mouse comes along and he sees the peanut in this thing. He's gonna move around and be like, oh, I, should I go for it? I don't know. I'm a fucking ninja for some reason and can steal goldfish. I don't know about this peanut. And he's gonna go on in just like that. Our little rat friend is in there. He's gonna go and he's gonna try and get the peanut. And as soon as he pulls on this paper clip, what's gonna happen is the thing is gonna shut and he is gonna be stuck in there because he, there's no way he's gonna be able to push this around. The reason I like this trap is because it keeps the mouse alive. We're not killing him. There's tons of air. There's even a little piece of food for him to eat in there while he waits for me to go and pick him up. So this is gonna be awesome. I'll also show you guys a little video of this trap working on a real mouse. Yeah! Again, shout out to the imaginative guy. I will leave a link to his video in the description. And not only do I have one of these traps, not two, not three, but four. We have four of these traps. We are gonna catch this guy. These are full, oh my. This is the one liter bottle and this thing is so sensitive. If I just touch on the back oh, That will catch that's gonna catch this mouse for sure I'm also gonna be setting one up in this panel of the ceiling. I'm gonna Somebody's taking a dump right upstairs. It's right going th right through this pipe Mmm, what you eat? Chicken for dinner? I'm gonna wait till later to set them up in the crawl space, but for now I'm gonna set one up right here. Well, I don't wanna set it off. You guys can see we got the trap set up up here. Mr. Mouse, if you're gonna come out and play, this is, if you want a nice little peanut in the back, come and get it! So I am going to quickly check around my house for any holes or any crevices that a rat could get in from. The thing about this rat is that he has been around my walls and my house and everything for a long ass time, and there's no way that he is surviving in my house. By just staying in my house, he has to be going in and out. See if there are any holes or any, is he in here? Well, that's okay. That's gross. Is he in here? Nope. Just wow. We. That's, a lot, that's not me. There. No. Okay. Well, I don't think this goes into the house. But could rats go into the gutter? Could he climb up this? No. There's no way that goes into. No. Maybe that's that's our only option, right? But I just think the cat went after the rat. Cat, do you see the rat? Did you find the rat? You're the cat that's supposed to be killing all the rats. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not supposed to have to try and find them. You're supposed to kill them. That's why we got you. Gotta go through like a jungle to get through. Over here. Maybe there's some, could be some way that there's, maybe there's like a hole back there that I'm not seeing. I don't see any holes. Can rats fit into like especially small places? I'm 
I maybe I'm just gonna. What the f is going on? This is. Somebody's pranking me. Um. Okay, I see a pile of goldfish with a piece. I'm freaking sick. This isn't funny. Like, this is not funny. Was this my mom? Was this Jazz Paul? They stole my goldfish last time. This is not. Oh my gosh, that was the cat. 